Hello everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we've got the Gobapalooza, which we're a little late to the party, and that's kind of sad because I've had this since the day it released. It's been that long before I finally got around to building it. So the reason is I've been working on goblins for Warcry and Warhammer Underworlds, and my son has been nagging me to get around to doing these. He likes the Scaremonger, and he likes... The the shroom mancer as he's freaking out there so what better time than now since i'm stuck at home i got nothing better to do than build models hmm. so it's only one full sprue or two of the half size ones makes me wonder actually why it was released in a full size box then because a lot of times when we have these smaller sets like this for example the Warhammer Underworlds bands, you usually have two sprues of the same size. It's in a lot smaller box. Just a strange observation. And you can see all their wonderful faces here. And I have no idea if I'll be able to do those paint jobs justice, but we're going to give it a try, right? Uh, I do appreciate the fact that we've got some of the paint schemes in the instructions, because I know I'm going to need it. In fact, most of the instructions look like it's just... Yeah, it is. You only have like two actual pages, three pages of actual instructions, so that's interesting. Everybody's on a 32 millimeter base. We have lots of delicate mushrooms that I'm sure are going to break off. We will try our best not to, though. Wish me luck. We'll go get these guys built, we'll see how they look. And we'll grab some other gits and goblins to see how they turn out. Well, I finally did it. We finally have decided to film the rest of the Gobblepalooza. I don't know what took me so long. Uh, this is just a fun set. They are so ridiculous. I don't care what brand, company, game system you ascribe to. I think if you have any interest in goblins whatsoever, or you just want some fun, interesting models to paint, I don't think you can go wrong with this set. They literally, it's just like Games Workshop let their sculptors just completely unfettered and come up with something interesting for the goblins. And that's most certainly what they did. I don't even know the names anymore. These guys have been sitting on my desk, built, no less, for months. I don't know why. I honestly could not tell you. I've built countless other goblin kits in the interim period since then. But these guys are just so stinking fun and bizarre why is he carrying all these potions with him who knows there used to be a whole little container of extra mushrooms that came with this set that you can absolutely just clutter their bases up with i like the dude hallucinating and the rules are pretty crazy too from what i remember i have to find it They're tucked away with all the rules in other spots I'm getting everybody stoned here He's supposed to be the one that has, like, hypnotized eyes. And again, I think, you know, if you have any remote interest in goblinoid creatures, I think this is going to be a great kit. Use them in Frostgrave. He's cooking the pot over his... I mean, I want to see this kind of stuff more often. I have no real interest in goblins, but it looks like such a fun kit to paint. I say that, and then I'm going to have, like, a bunch of painted ones, obviously. And then these goofballs here. Wearing and running with a squig skeleton. I mean, I could see people like repurposing these guys for a Blood Bowl team of some sort. Mascots, cheerleaders, who knows. I didn't bother to glue this on yet just because I really would like to be able to get in there to actually paint the guy on the ground. So we'll finish that up in the future. And the best thing, you know, they totally scale well with other goblins out there. Now, I will admit the Moon Clan Grots or whatever they call the Night Goblins these days do look a little bit shrimpy next to these guys. They are a little bit on the bigger side, but you know, that's not necessarily a big detractor. Grabbing an old Heartbreaker sculpt or a more modern Shield Wolf one. You can see here they fit in quite well. Or even grabbing one of the recent Mantic ones. I think they'd fit in just as nicely. So, I mean, I'm betting if you play goblins or you want to play goblins in just about any kind of setting, 
you will find a use for these guys. They're very unique. Uh, they don't really have any specific motif other than shrooms and just craziness going on. So I can totally see these guys getting used in a whole slew of systems. I think it's really just much like these guys. It's up to your imagination and whatever you want to try to get away with. I think, I think it'll work. Uh, they're just a really fun group of models here. Um, and for what you get, I'd say they're they're pretty reasonably priced. They are a little bit more in the challenging side of things. They're not snap together or anything like that. Uh, there are a lot of tiny little parts. So, you know, if you've got big old potato fingers like me, you might want to take your time putting these guys together. Uh, I know everything went together pretty smoothly, but I did have issues with things wanting to stay where they should because I was getting impatient and wanting to build them as soon as possible. That much I can remember, even though that was ages ago. So, very fun set of models, especially if you actually do play goblins in any sort of system. But if you, like I said, are looking for something different to paint, I don't think you can really go wrong with these guys. They're about as different as it gets. So do keep an eye out for them while they are available with GW's modern system and shenanigans of things. Who knows how long that'll be. With that said... This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.